A spotlight in Nigeria's democracy reveals much still has to be achieved in order to meet the yearnings of millions of Nigerians. This was as Nigeria's political class converged on the Musa Yeradua Center in Abuja during the launch of a book titled Democracy Without Development, How to Fix It. Many in attendance say changes must be made from political parties' selection of candidates to focus of elected public officials. Our correspondent, Amadin Uyi, reports. Since their return to democracy in May 1999, Nigeria has successfully run an uninterrupted fourth republic. Many believe Nigeria's transition from a military regime to a civilian rule place the nation on the right path of development. However, there are some who think the focus on only the federal government for national development by Nigerians is misplaced. I think the role of the federal government is often over-exaggerated relative to what states are supposed to be doing. Uh, because people live in states. That is where we demand education. That is where health is demanded. That is where we need roads. Okay? So the, the earlier we begin to shift attention and emphasis of the quality of governance to states and local government, the better for the people of this country. The essence of democracy is to get your agent who is elected, that politician, to take your interests and put it on the table and make sure your interest determines public policy. At the launch of this book in Abuja titled Democracy Without Development, How to Fix It, some think successive Nigerian governments have not performed creditably well with widespread cases of corruption and misgovernance. Ethical value has collapsed. As a result of that, poverty has increased. As a result of that, you see more conflict and violence and misery among the citizens. This is the consequences of corruption in governance. This is the consequences of you know, impunity in governance. This is the cons consequences of flagrant violent violation of the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Unfortunately, the way that we have structured political parties, it is the interest of those who own the parties that determine who gets picked as candidate because there's no internal democracy, the primaries are a joke and all of that. There's a popular saying that um, only fools worry about the form of government because a place well managed is well managed. I think it was Alexandra Pope that, that said that. I will worry less about form of governance in Nigeria but talk about the efficiency of current system. After a review of the book which sought to recommend solutions to Nigeria's current political challenges, some express different opinions on the recommendations made by the author. I will say that uh, the book is well written. Uh, it was very articulate uh, and it was well researched. Uh, but uh, I disagree with the author in one or two areas, although I agree with him in many areas of the, of the book. Dr. Omano is a scholar that has taken a lot of interest in the trajectory of developmental states, uh, states with a strong public sector, strong industrial policies, and competent public servants to drive progress and development. The book seeks to provide a roadmap for government to tackle Nigeria's myriad of challenges. Amadin Uyi, Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.